0800 Yo Fam. Whatever in it. Yo Fam was good, was popping. I'm Khalid. This is Khalidism. Welcome. You know what I was reminded of this morning? Yeah, and it was like while I was brushing my teeth, and I don't know why I was thinking about it. I was thinking about the time that I had learned a very valuable lesson, which is not to mix different groups of friends and whatnot. I know that some of you mix your group of friends and it's all good. You all get on well and you all just merge in homogeneously and nothing bad ever happens. But um, I learned a lesson and it was when I was at uni. You know what I'm saying? I was at uni. I went to uni kind of late. So I was probably about 23 or something like that. Me and my next brethren um, from the north side, we're pre pretty much in a similar predicament, both of us, uh, black kids or young black men from inner city London, um, enrolled onto a foundation called Sata Music College or a music academy. And we are the only two Probably the two black people in that there's a four of us, but the only two black people that proper are have the same parallels. You know what I'm saying? So I can't remember if this was first year or second year or something, but I got invited. One of my friends from class, she was having a party and whatnot, or a housewarming, or I don't know what it was. So me and my, my brethren from uni decided to, to link up and go there. So he brought his brethren, I brought my brethren. Like, I had been friends with this guy for years, like, proper since, like, year seven secondary school and whoop, whoop, whoop. So we've gone to this place now. And I'm not thinking any anything of it. I know, like, this guy's a bit, sometimes he can be a bit of a live wire off the handle and whatnot. But I didn't know to which detriment in it. And I think it was the same with my classmate's friend who, like, was literally in the same predicament. Brought them to the party. Gone to the party now. Brought in a bottle of juice. You know what I'm saying? Gave it to the girl who was having a party. Welcomed us in. Saw a couple classmates. Was like, yo, yo, wagwan, wagwan. Everyone split up now. And, um... Yeah, it turns out that my classmate's brethren was doing a madness. My brethren at the time was just on crud. And then I can't remember what I was doing, but I was think I was talking to my classmate and one of her brethren was like, yo, um, yo, yo, you, you need to, you need to get your friends out of here. You need to get out. You need to get your friends out. So I'm like, what, what, what? Remember? At this time, I'm not drinking, you know, like I have a one little juice, but anytime I'm around people I don't know, I do not drink at all. And it's always been like that from my youngest days, never around anyone to get caught slipping or whatnot. You know, like you don't want to be caught off guard. So then I've gone upstairs now into a room and I don't know, like I think my brethren was trying to put a DVD, like do something. Trying to jack something. And I'm thinking, the fuck? But I'll come back to that because that would revealed after me, revealed, revealed to me afterwards. So we've left the party now. Me, my brethren from uni and his brethren are um, walking back to his car. And I've looked back and I've seen my man like proper trying to kick down the door. Like, kick down the door, you know. I've gone, yo, what the fuck? Rare, 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 come. And he's come. Next day now, I receive a call from the girl whose party it was. And she was like, yo, your friend kicked down our door, broke the lock. I was like, I was like, for fuck's sake. Because I'm thinking to myself, what possessed my man to do that? Because remember, I've bought a drink to the party. See, my man in the party just drinking up rare. Remember, my man didn't bring no juice to the party, you know? Like, I learned a valuable lesson that day, man. I said to the girl, I was like, yo, just call a locksmith. I remember it was a Saturday morning or something, and I was like to her, call the locksmith, get him round, and I'll run you the peas for however much it is to fix the door. 
I think I think the door ended up being like a Bills or a Bills 50 and I just ran her back the pee and I hollered at my friend and I was like, yo, you need to run that back still. But I learned a valuable lesson from that, yeah. And to this day, I've never mixed. I, I've, I've not mixed like different factions or sets of friends because ultimately not everyone is from the same places. Not everyone is from the same cultures or has been schooled in a certain way. Like, even though, yeah, man is from the block and whatnot, but at the same time, I had a different upbringing to X, Y, Z, or I process things differently um, than X, Y, Z and and woo, woo, woo. So things that people were getting into, whether it was, I don't know, groomed to sell drugs or or stuff like that, or taking things on consignment for next man and having to dip and dive and whatnot. Like, I didn't go through that because my mindset was different because I had always been told, yo, be a leader, not a follower, always have your own things, this, that, and a third. So my situation was unique in that way. So it just, I was just like, never again mix your friends, especially your hood friends, and people that you meet at uni, like keep them totally separated because it will end up like that. Like your brethren goes to a party full of people that a majority of them are probably not even from the ends, probably not even from East London, but thought, fuck it, we've moved down there for uni. We're going to move into Bethnal Green. You know, it's a bit of an edgy area, but you know, we're cool. We don't cause no one trouble. No one causes us trouble. And there you go. Man from the ends, not even from the ends, but from a different ends, have come to your yard and kicked off your fucking door, burst up your lock. Why? My man couldn't even explain himself. The worst thing is, when man's gone to uni now, on a Monday, I've linked up with my classmate who was at the party as well. His regiment was doing a madness, like using his shoe to fucking lift up skirt and them fuckeries. They're like, you got to understand, this was 2008, like, it was crud central, like, people were just on a madness. My bridge wasn't on it, my classmate wasn't on it, I wasn't on it. But when you bring people from the block into a certain environment, it's like, man don't know how to act, you know what I'm saying? So, that was my lesson, man. I learned a very important lesson that day, you know what I'm saying? Because even though the actions were fucked up, you think about it like this, yeah? What some people don't realise is that when they come to a function with you or when you bring them around other people, they are a representation of you. And some people don't respect that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, that's my anecdote. You know... Don't mix people around. Don't mix people from different places around if they're not ready for that environment. You know what I'm saying? Because I doubt there was any justifiable reason for my man trying to snatch a DVD player. That's what I was going to say. Like When I've got back to uni now on a Monday and I linked up with my classmate, he was like, yo, like your brethren was on crud. He was trying to take a DVD player. And this thinking, fuck, it's 2008, people. DVD players were the ting in it. It was like, he's trying to take a DVD player. I was like, fuck's sake, man. You know what I'm saying? That, I learned an important lesson that day. Like, just don't try and mix people about. Just move the way you got to move. And I think from that day, man was just moving with enough different people or enough different, enough different brethren, groups or whatever. And I was just moving in different circles and stuff. But it just goes to show, man, just be wary in it. When you got that party and you're like, yo, you don't want to roll and rare, rare, rare. Like, either you give them a pep talk beforehand. I've, I've, you don't have to be, you shouldn't have to baby your peoples in it. But you either give them a pep talk beforehand or you don't bring them in it. Because more time when people have this some people have this mad thing inside their head like, you know, you go, they go to other ends and feel like they have to rep the ends even though they've never rep the ends. Like, it's a madness. It, it, you know, shit would, would warp people. It's like carnival, like back in the day. Like, I used to go carnival with a batch of people that, you know, 
no one was gang affiliated, which was great. We all knew people that were in gangs and involved in different shit. Everyone was involved in whatever they was involved in, but no one was gang affiliated. So man just used to move and be able to move comfortably without anyone trying to be on the case. But you couldn't, you, you, I was always wary of who I would find myself around. Like if there was a certain person with a mad piece of energy that is a friend of a friend and used to come around, I used to breeze out. Because ultimately, with some people, there's always this point to prove. You know what I'm saying? So it's a madness. And some people's energies are just off key. But I've always been like that from day one. As I said, in finding your fitter as well. Like, I don't really like people that, you know, exude a certain energy and whatnot. But I know, random, random tell. But it had to be told. I was thinking about that this morning. I was thinking, why the fuck are you busting off a door? Why are you trying to jack a DVD player? Like, who are you? I don't know. I think sometimes when people drink, it's, it makes them spiral out of control. And I've never been a man to drink. Like, there's certain times I've let loose and I've had a drink, but man don't drink, man don't smoke. Even when I was uh, bunning weed back in the day, man wasn't like bunning zoo after zoo. It was nighttime or it was two tokes here and there. Or none at all. You know what I'm saying? I'd always favoured being sober and clear-minded. At least the exception would be if I was in a safe space. If I felt safe in a particular space, then yeah. But other than that, man's not out there intoxicated and on a madness. But yeah, man, don't mix your peoples, them. Keep them separated. But callism, peace.